Hello, my name is Emmanuel, and this is your channel, Sosanasa One in English. Now I'm going to show you how to test this fan capacitor. This in my hand is a fan capacitor. We are going to test this fan capacitor using this digital multimeter in this case. This is very easy and very important because if this capacitor is not working correctly, the fan don't work correctly too. It's because this is what if the force to the rotation of the fan propeller drove the energy stored by the capacitor. In this case, we are going to measure how many microfarads can store this capacitor inside. But the first step is read the information on the capacitor. For example, we are watching now two microfarads, more or less 5%. This information is very important because we are going to measure this using this digital multimeter connected to this capacitor. That's the reason we need to watch this information like reference. If the number on the multimeter screen is very near of two microfarads in this case, it means this capacitor is good. But if we connect the digital multimeter to this capacitor and the number of microfarads on the multimeter screen is very far of two microfarads, it means the capacitor is not working correctly, it's bad. The first step is set up this digital multimeter. This F means farads. The different side inside this mode are these numbers. For example, two microfarads, 20 nanofarads, 200 nanofarads, two microfarads, 200 microfarads. We choose one option depending of the number on the capacitor. In this case, I'm going to choose 200 microfarads because this number is higher than 2 microfarads. And it's very important to watch the complete number when we connect this digital multimeter to the capacitor. Now, the next step is this connector, this black connector, put here in cone and the red connector in this case we need to watch very well this part this CX means capacitor test that's the reason we need to connect the red connector here for this case if we want to use other modes of this digital multimeter we need to change the red connector now, our digital multimeter is ready. Let's to take the capacitor. And the other step is discharge this capacitor. This is very important to protect you and protect the digital multimeter. Touch these two cables in this way. Now, our capacitor is safe. and touch here and touch here and watch on the multimeter screen in this case we are watching now on the multimeter screen two microfarads two yeah 2.1 microfarad it means this capacitor is in excellent condition because these two microfarads is almost the same number of two microfarads that we read on the capacitor. It means this capacitor is in excellent condition in this case. Now I'm doing again the same test and we have a good result. In this way, you can test 
a capacitor like this using a digital multimeter like this let's connect again and yeah it's the same result two microfarads the number on the multimeter screen is the same that we read on the capacitor it means this capacitor is in excellent condition but if for example on the multimeter screen we watch one microfarad and we read two microfarads on the capacitor it means in that case the capacitor is bad it's not working correctly but in this way this capacitor is working correctly and it is in excellent condition in this way this is your channel sosanasa one in english subscribe in our channel and share this video Give me a like and thank you for watching. See you next time.